Welcome to Travel Talk with Lori and Bill. Hi. Good evening. Tonight we are going to talk about some great destinations right here in the USA. But first I want to thank our sponsors, Rocky Mount Toyota Rental, for being our sponsors. And if you were here last week, you know about that great... RAV4. Uh, RAV4, yes. Yes, you do. So that was a great experience going to SeaWorld. And I have missed dearly being at SeaWorld this week, just yeah. like last week. So. Yes, indeed. Yep, we have. So we're really excited tonight because we have one of my suppliers from Globus that's going to be on the phone, Eric Kelly. For those of you that's been watching ever since the first episode, we did have him on episode number two. But tonight we're going to talk about some great destinations starting off with Wyoming. But first we're going to see a little commercial from Rocky Mount Toyota and another little video from Globus while we get Mr. Eric on the phone. So we'll be back in just a couple of minutes to talk about why. Toyotathon is on at Rocky Mount Toyota. We're celebrating the season with incredible deals on the vehicles topping your wish list. Right now, drive home any new Toyota and make no payments for up to 90 days. Or get 0% APR for 48 months, plus $500 holiday bonus cash on the 2021 Toyota Corolla LE, RAV4 LE, and Highlander. As always, we're proud to offer a complimentary lifetime warranty. Hurry in to Rocky Mount Toyota today. Well, everybody, welcome back. We are going to be talking with, about Yellowstone Winter Wonderland with Mr. Eric Kelly from Globus. How are you tonight, Eric? I'm doing terrific, Lori. How about yourself? Oh, we're doing great. We're doing yeah, great we are. We're yeah, doing we are. great. Yes, welcome we are. aboard, Eric. Welcome aboard. So we're going to be talking about Yellowstone Winter Wonderland. I fell in love with this tour when I first got the book. And, of course, we all know it's like the Sears catalog used to be at Tory Time. When I get these books, I've got to look at them, and I found this, and I'm like, yeah, that could be my next tour for next year. Well, 
I'll give you a little bit of background with our National Park affiliation. Years ago, we partnered with the National Park Foundation to help uh, push national parks and to uh, give back, basically. So what we started doing is is with our uh, Go Parks programs, our affiliation with the National Park Foundation, we were giving money back to each passenger uh, that went on one of our tours. And it was really especially uh, beneficial because with the in 2016, the centennial of the national parks came about, and with us having that relationship with the national parks, we've always uh, had a, a great opportunity to to get some great lodging in the parks. And uh, of course, it's it's a wonderful opportunity just to give back to that organization. We're also supporting the national park firefighters also at this point. Well, that's that's an awesome thing because those firefighters certainly work hard, especially out that part of the country. They definitely do. Say for sure, that is a that is a really important thing to do, and we're glad to give back. Yep. Great. So we're going to throw the map up, and we're going to talk about where this Yellowstone Winter Wonderland actually goes, because this is just to me amazing. Because we drove Wyoming quite a bit as truck drivers, but never a chance to really stop and enjoy what you were seeing and just see it go. So this is just an awesome. Looks like an awesome tour for me to be able to do it in the snow on the ground and to see the buffaloes. Yeah, it's a, it's a special uh, program that we do. We do a lot of the national parks, of course, during the summer months. But when um, uh, we pick out some of these special tours that we added, added this one for the winter time. So the, uh, Yellowstone, the Yellowstone Winter Wonderland Tour uh, typically runs uh, the first part of next year. Uh, it runs uh, basically January, February, and March. It's a round trip, Jackson, Jackson. Uh, and of course, you do the one night in Jackson. You stop in Grand Teton National Park. You got two nights in uh, Yellowstone National Park. Uh, you got one night up in Mammoth Hot Springs, uh, West Yellowstone mm -hmm. for a night, and then work your way back down to uh, down to Jackson for additional night. So it's a seven day itinerary. There's some really cool things we do. Uh, it's a little special than uh, uh, what our normal itinerary is. Uh, one of the things we do in Jackson is that sleigh ride in the National Elk Refuge. How wonderful would that be with snow all over the ground and bundle up and do a sleigh ride? Oh, that would that sounds fascinating to me. And um, uh, just a, just a, the quietness of when the snow is falling. Okay. Uh, I, 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 okay. Sign me up. <laughs> oh yes, I mean that when you were talking that I'm like I could be there tomorrow. Yes, definitely. When I read it, I thought, oh, that would be awesome. Wyoming was one of my favorite places to drive in. So, and, and, the, and the chance of seeing buffalo. Yeah. You know, in the snow, to me, is just, just an amazing opportunity. Yeah, well, it's a, it has a whole different feel during the winter months when the snow is on the ground. Uh, it, uh, it, it takes that national parks up to a whole new level. And uh, what a, a great opportunity for a winter vacation. Uh, like it says, winter wonderland, and, and certainly is one of the one of the itineraries that sets us apart during the winter months. And it, and it, like I said, it is one of our Go Parks tours. Uh, with any of our tours, you'll see that little Go Parks logo designated as a national parks tour in our portfolio. The only the only problem I see with it is I might not want to leave when it was time to come home. Not coming back. I'm gonna stay. <laughs> <laughs> well, next we're gonna talk about another great tour. Historic Trains of the Old West. Now this one I like too. This is a Denver to Denver. Yeah, this is a, this is a really popular for train aficionados. Uh, this one has gained in popularity. Uh, we used to do one motor coach on this program uh, because of limited hotels, but now we're adding. They're adding more and more hotels in this area, and it's been uh, really really popular with us. Uh, this is a in and out of Denver. So it starts in Denver, works your way down towards uh, the Colorado Springs, but on the way down you stop and uh, do the Royal Gorge Route Railroad. So it's a narrow gauge railroad and then you'll end up in Colorado Springs there uh, for one night, work your way down to Santa Fe. You're down in Santa Fe for two nights, which is nice to kind of relax a little bit. Go up to Shamayo, which is really great because that's a, a spiritual t tradition um, in America Southwest. So it's a, a great experience. That's one of our local favorites, as is the sleigh rides uh, with the uh, uh, with the Winter Wonderland program. And from um, from Santa Fe, after 
to day two, you start you hit a Bandelier National Monument, uh, go up to Taos, New Mexico, and then your next stop is in Durango. Two nights in Durango. So what I like about this one, it has a couple of a couple of stops where you're there for two nights, just not one night. So it gives you a chance to kind of unpack, relax a little bit. But uh, you'll also have a chance to do the uh, the Silverton Railroad from Durango to Silverton, uh, and also go out to the Mesa Verde National Park. So uh, that's uh, the second rail trip on this one. Head north up to Glenwood Springs, and uh, you're there for Glen at Glenwood Springs for a, for a day. And the next the special thing you get to do is one more railroad trip, and that's going to be on the Georgetown Loop Railroad wow, that's cool. on your way to Denver. So you'll stop and do that railroad, narrow gauge, and then uh, end up in Denver for additional nights. So, again, absolutely spectacular uh, uh, departure. And um, uh, for those train uh, fans, this is the, one of the trips that we do. More and more folks are really interested in our train trips that we do. Uh, this one also can... Um, tie in every year periodically with the uh, the Albuquerque Balloon Festival. So that's a, an additional add-on. Of course, that's only one date in October, but uh, it, it tags in with the train, uh, historic trains of the Old West. Again, really one of our big programs uh, that we do, gaining in popularity. And as I mentioned, uh, with our Go Parks, this is also one of our Go Parks strips. So again, we'll be giving money back to the National Park Foundation for each passenger that joins us on this trip. Oh, that's fantastic. And, and seeing those balloons in Albuquerque, we have actually driven when they were in the air. It is a tremendous sight to just see all these colorful balloons everywhere you can look. So that definitely would be a great opportunity to combine both of them on that the, one tour day. The sky is full of color. They are. I mean, it's just awesome to see them. I, I usually got the chance to see him a lot more than Lori because I was a daytime driver and <laughs> we kept her in the bunk until nighttime and then let her out of her cage. Yeah, I didn't drive well with others, right? Play yeah. well in the sandbox with others. Yes, I was a nighttime driver. So we're going to take a little break now, see if a couple of commercials, and then we're going to come back and talk about another tour that's really fascinating to me in uh, Nashville and Memphis. Absolutely wonderful. Look forward to it. Pull back the shades on a blue sky, sunny day. Watch all the worries of the world just sail away. No ocean, keep your heart wide open. I'm too busy feeling this free. the joys of hide-and-seek, the anticipation of peering around corners, the intrigue of an unfamiliar path, the thrill of finding that secret spot, those shrieks of delight, the pure sweetness of discovery. They can all be had again when you seek out the hidden treasures of the world. The towns with no traffic, the coasts with no crowds, the nooks with no noise, Away from the trodden, the congested, and the expected, we invite you to put down the guidebooks and pick up an accent instead. To trade the lines for limoncello and the chaos for the catch of the day. Traveling from cliffs to caverns and volcanoes to valleys, you'll find secluded shores, sun-washed cities, and moonlit bays. Places to delve into the stories of mythical heroes or take in the wonder of living art. 
paths to walk in the footsteps of poets or jump in the footsteps of Olympians. Waters to dip your toe in the past or make a grand splash right now. From the colorful parks of Croatia to the whitewashed isles of Greece, the villages and vineyards of Italy to the majestic mountains of the United States, our undiscovered itineraries go where other tour operators don't and allow you to spend days where cruise ships only spend hours. We lead you off the beaten piazzas and down the cobblestones less traveled to discover the unspoiled, the unexpected, the unchanged, and the unsolved. The wonders of the world are hiding. It's time to open your eyes and go find them. Discover the undiscovered with Globus and Cosmos. Well, we're back having a great chat with Mr. Eric Kelly from Globus. And what actually is it that you do at Globus, Mr. Eric? Uh, I'm business development manager uh, for the uh, for the states of North and South Carolina, Tennessee, and Georgia. Uh, I work with the trade side of the industry, and that's with travel agents, uh, like our wonderful friends uh, that are hosting the call tonight. So, <laughs> Thank you. Um, and, and I work with them on kind of a marketing uh, the marketing guy and and uh, help with presentations and uh, advertising and and just support the the agents on a local level uh, in as a liaison between the home office out in Denver and of course our international headquarters is in Switzerland and this is our 93rd year we're in business Wow congratulations Fantastic. well it's a great it's an awesome company and we are looking so forward to when we can have um, in-person events hopefully um by by the end of april first of may we'll be able to start start seeing you coming through some and doing some in-person events and looking and, forward to uh, it and i am so ready to uh, get out and about and get back on the roads i you know it's just it's just gonna be a great great world once we can get back to doing some of that but now we're going to talk about nashville and memphis this is one of our uh, relatively new programs we rolled out which i personally like i was uh a uh, rep for one of the cruise lines, one of the big ship cruise lines uh, years ago in Nashville. I lived six years in Nashville, and uh, I really liked it. I was there from uh, 90, when was it, 97 to 2003, and uh, it was just starting to take off. Boy, I tell you, the traffic up there is, is really... It's crazy. Uh, but uh, <laughs> the restaurant scene, of course, the music scene everybody knows about, this is a wonderful tour. It only It's only a six-day tour, um, it's a th uh, three nights in Nashville, three nights in Memphis. It gives you a chance to uh, do the honky tonks and do the uh, Country Music Hall of Fame. Uh, you do a special uh, program where you get a chance to go into the Ryman Auditorium. That's kind of one of really uh, a popular aspect to this tour. Um, and then uh, you're there, for, like I said, for just a couple of days, and then you head down. Oh, and before you go, you get a chance to go down to RCA, uh, the RCA. Studio B, where Elvis used to record some of his music. And then you head on down to Memphis uh, to enjoy the nightlife there uh, in Memphis, which is just terrific down on Bill Street. You'll go to the National Civil Rights Museum, uh, have uh, a dinner at a local restaurant. You'll go to Sun, Stu the Sun Studios, again, one of the uh, popular recording studios that a lot of the musicians use. And then go to the Rock and Roll, um, the Rock and Soul Museum, I should say. Uh, um, also down in Memphis. So talking about a, a fun-filled, music-filled uh, short getaway, this is that uh, that itinerary. And of course, uh, Nashville to Memphis is only three hours, a nice easy drive through the beautiful countryside of Tennessee. Yeah. Um, but uh, getting down to Tootsie's or going down to uh, Robert's Western World and, and experiencing all that, that great country music, and depending on what kind of country music you want to listen to, it's every different genre all, all along Lower Broad and Second Avenue and up in Printer's uh, Alley, some of the old uh, old venues there, and a lot of the newer venues too. And of course, like I've mentioned, the restaurant scene is really dynamic in, uh, in Nashville these days. And uh, you'll get down to Memphis and you'll go, you can go down to uh, BB King's and get a a PB, PB and J sandwich and enjoy 
enjoy the music there. And again, all the, the nightlife along Bill Street is uh, wonderful too. So you talk about a music-filled vacation, this is it. Yeah, that can be a crazy place, Beale Street. And you even get a little visit to um, Graceland to see um, Elvis Presley's, is this his office, see his business office, and, and a few oh, of the yeah. private areas. And go see the jungle room and the, sh the green shack carpet on the roof. <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey. <laughs> The mm -hmm. funny thing about Elvis's, uh, Elvis's place is we do uh, Elvis's birthday every year. And it, it, it's, it's pretty popular here in the U.S., but boy, the British, they love it. We'll do six motor coaches uh, from Britain that go to Elvis's birthday every year. They wow. absolutely revere him, and uh, he's still quite popular in, uh, in England. And it's always fun to see those groups go you know, check out his house and, and uh, really enjoy Graceland quite a bit. And then, of course, the museum across the street. Well, when we were in Central Florida when we lived all them years, we had a little diner close to us that always did an Elvis tribute night one Saturday night a month. And let me tell you, those ladies... They were they, crazy. They, they, they would go to his birthday celebration. Yep, they were there. They were there. So, constantly. It was just amazing how, how they just still, you know supported Elvis and wanted to go to Graceland and the whole thing. So I know it's a great opportunity for people to go. We met his private nurse, too. Yeah, we did. We met Elvis' private nurse. But, yeah, so the thing is, is that this is a great tour, I think. Yeah. For a lot of people, and that's why I looked at it from people from my area. Because National Memphis is not just a little little plain rock, hop, skip, and jump. And or drive down 40. Well, you could, but then, of course, you're going to end up in Memphis. So you have to think about all those. Yeah, true that. Curious. So and your last night, you get to go down to Rendezvous Ribs, right downtown Memphis, and and go go downstairs, and boy, the dry rubs there, man, what an experience! Uh, the gentlemen still wearing their white outfits with the black ties and the checkered uh, uh, wow. cloths, and oh, good, talk about some good barbecue. And that would make you feel like you were in in the, in the right place, wouldn't it? Oh, me with ribs, yep. oh yeah, de definitely, definitely. So now, when you're taking a Globus tour. Um, what are some of the points like? My, my favorite point is that the luggage. You can set your luggage outside your door and somebody else loads it on the motor coach. But what are some of the pluses for, for doing a guided tour with Globus? Well, you know, so when we talk to, to gentlemen uh, a lot of times and, and they're the ones, oh, I don't want to go on vacation or if they ever go on vacation, they're always doing the driving. What's great about an escorted tour is both parties can enjoy the vacation. No one's driving, trying to keep an eye on the road. Yep. They can sit back and enjoy all the beautiful sights and uh, really enjoy the vacation uh, like everybody else. And when you have a tour guide, he does all the logistics. They they know the uh, the local heritage, the ins and outs, all the, secret, the little stories and the behind the scenes facts that no one knows. Uh, they coordinate all the hotels. Uh, of course, the transportation with a motor coach driver, uh, and with our uh, our peace of mind, our uh, protocols now. With we sanitize the luggage when it comes off. It goes up to the rooms. It's set out in front of your rooms, or it actually goes right into the room. And then the next morning, you set them out. We put them back on the bus. They're sterilized then. And what we like about escorted touring is the the idea of being in a bubble. So once everybody has uh, been checked before they come on the tour, uh, everyone's safe. We make sure that all the tickets into the venue are handled by the tour guide. All the keys to the rooms are handled by the tour guide. So you really don't have to be standing in line and waiting to get your room key or any of that thing. All that's already taken care of. And we handle that. We keep everybody safe in the motor coach. We do all the proper social distancing once we're off the motor coach. So we do everything we can to make sure our customers are safe and they're uh, they're in our uh, in the bubble uh, on the motor coach and traveling all around. So we don't we kind of keep them away from uh, all the other folks that are out there and, and and everybody feels safer traveling in that that way. Of course, it's a new world these days, and and we're making sure we do all the right things to keep our customers safe. Fantastic. And breakfast every morning is included. And then some of your meals, lunch, and some dinners are included with each one of your tours. That is correct. Like in uh, uh, Nashville to Memphis, you're going to have dinner in Memphis, but breakfast each day. Uh, there are always some inclusions. We don't want 
we don't want to give um, have dinner scheduled every single night because a lot of times people want to go out and do kind of their own thing. Yeah. You know, they yeah. Yeah. explore. And, uh, the, I mean, if we offer a, a meal in, in one of the restaurants or hotels, people will feel obligated to do that because they feel like they pay for it. But a lot of times people want to go out and kind of do their thing and, and the tour guy can do uh, can help with recommendations and uh, if, you, if you want the rendezvous ribs of last night, you may want corkies the night before. So uh, <laughs> flexibility into it so that people can kind of customize their vacation a little bit uh, and not be kind of told where to go every single night. So we, we, we do have some uh, uh, free time and uh, a lot of that. And by being able to get into the must-see sites without waiting in line, it gives you more free time to do things that you want to do. Absolutely, absolutely. Well, this has been fantastic tonight, Eric, talking with you, and I, I still keep thinking about that Wyoming winter wonderland. So that, you know, that's definitely going to be on top of my mind. So thank you so very much for coming on tonight. We're looking forward to the first time we can have you in person here on the show. But you have a fantastic rest of your week. We're going to let you go, and we're going to sign off here tonight. And um, I'm sure I'll be getting with you because I think I'm going to get some people together and we're going to go do the Winter Wonderland. That sounds terrific. Well, um, you may have to save a seat for me. <laughs> All right. You have a good night, Eric. Thank you very much. Take care, Eric. Bye-bye. Well, that was great. Yes, it was. I'm still on the Winter Wonderland, but that was great. So we're going to say good night now. Wish y'all all a really good week. We're going to be back next Tuesday night. Lori and Bill to discuss more travel and more places we can go in the United States because that's what the next next few weeks is going to be about where we can travel locally here and have a great fantastic vacation yes yes indeed some of them will require air airfare and some are driving, Just driving. Distance. yep sure are so we wish everyone a great week out there and we will see you next Tuesday night at seven o'clock for travel talk with Lori and Bill and Bill. That's right, and Bill. Travel talk with Lori and Bill. Thank you.